Hello, boys and girls. I am so excited to be here with you today. Um, I am really excited to get to start a new unit with you in social studies. And the unit that we're going to be talking about, um, as you know, we've been talking about some of the different departments. So we've talked about the Department of Education. Do you remember what that department does? So if you said that they are kind of in charge of making sure that schools and teachers and education run smoothly, you've got it. What about the Department of Agriculture? So the Department of Agriculture, you're right, they take care of farms and, um, you know, producing food and they're in charge of all of that. And if you remember, they, you know, help farmers come up with the best way to do those things. So we're going to be learning this week about the Department of Labor. Now. What do you think that could be? What do you think the Department of Labor could be in charge of? So go ahead, tell me, tell the computer screen, tell your dog, tell your cat, tell your little sister, tell somebody, go for it. So if you said, and if you use this book behind me as um, a little bit of a hint or a clue, if you said that it has to do with jobs, you are 100% correct. The Department of Labor helps to um, make the rules and figure out the way that people should be allowed to work in the United States. And they've made some really important rules to make sure that um, working is safe and that working is fair and that, um, you know, different age requirements for different types of work, things like that. There's been a lot of really important rules and we didn't always have the Department of Labor. And so that was when work was a lot um, less safe and a lot more unfair. And you know, obviously they haven't taken care of everything, but they do their best to make sure that workplaces are safe and um, that, you know, you're able to work in a place that you enjoy working at, hopefully. <laughs> um, so they kind of have come up with some of those rules and things like that. So we're going to get to learn more about that tomorrow. Um, but today we're going to read Jobs Around the World. And I just thought that this book was interesting um, because there's some really weird jobs. And I actually um, have, I know that I have assigned um, some odd jobs, some weird job books. Um, and I believe that your teachers also have assigned those books to you. Um, and so they just have some really weird jobs. Like, for example, there is an odor tester where literally your job is to smell things. Um, and it, just weird furniture tester where your job is to sit on a chair all day and see if it's comfortable for a desk. I will take that job. <laughs> so, um, you know, some really crazy jobs. So I thought it would be neat to just kind of see there are definitely a lot of crazy jobs in the United States, but this one um, talks about some around the world. So I thought that that would be neat for us to read. So my face is going to go away. There we go. Let's make this bigger. So jobs around the world. Also, really quickly, what is this lovely text feature right here? What is this contents? What does it do? If you said that it tells us where we can go to different sections and what page that is on, that is correct. Very nice job. Just a quick review there. Job hunt. Think about your skills and talents. Would they help you be a great firefighter, vet, or teacher someday? People who live in different places may do different jobs. Maybe one of the jobs in this book is just right for you. Bike fishermen. <laughs> in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands, there are many canals and about 2 million bicycles. Bikes end up in the water, so there's a special job to get them out. Bike fishermen take bikes and other things out of the canals using claw machines. <laughs> So think about that. Would you want that to be your job? Tea leaf pickers. Tea plants are grown all over the world, especially in China, Japan, India, and the United States. Some plants are picked by machines. The best tea is picked by hand. Only the, two, the top two leaves and newest leaf bud are used. Tea leaf picker in Sri Lanka. That sounds like a very time-consuming job. <laughs> Dabble, wait, 
Dabawala. <laughs> Dabawalas. In India, a Dabawala picks up a meal and delivers it to a person at work. Often, the meal is cooked at the customer's home. D the Dabawala also returns the empty lunchbox. Dabawalas usually carry many meals at once. So it's sort of like, um, like, Delivery Dudes or Grubhub or DoorDash, if you or parents have ever had food delivered or even like a pizza delivery where they go and um, deliver you food. However, the biggest difference, I think, is this sentence. Often the meal is cooked at the customer's home. So they go and pick up a meal from your house, deliver it to you, and then they return your lunchbox back to your house. So look at all of these lunches here. It's a lot of lunches. Think about having your school lunch delivered by hand. <laughs> Amazon Rainforest Guides. The Amazon in South America is the largest rainforest in the world. It's home to millions of plants and animals. Amazon Guides help others travel safely through the rainforest. They teach others about the people and wildlife that live there. International Ice Patrol. The U.S. Coast Guard runs the International Ice Patrol, IIP. The IIP follows the movements of icebergs using airplanes and computers. It offers ships safe paths around them. If they need to, the IIP tows icebergs out of the way. This is a tugboat towing an iceberg. It's a pretty big job, huh? Train pushers. In some countries, many people travel by train to work each day. A person called a pusher helps the people into the train cars. Pushers make sure everyone fits and no one gets hit by a train door. So they literally shove people onto trains. Your job could be pushing people <laughs> onto trains. <laughs> Oh, here is Joelle's job. I know in my class, Joelle loves pandas, so this is her dream job. <laughs> Panda caretakers. Giant pandas only live in the wild in China. There are fewer than 2,000 left. The Giant Panda Protection and Research Center in, I think, Yan, China, is trying to increase that number. It hires people to be panda caretakers. Just look at them. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? <laughs> I would love to cuddle pandas. Out of this world. Some people don't work on Earth. They work above it. Astronauts and scientists work on the International Space Station. It orbits or goes around Earth every 92 minutes. Which job in this book would you like to try? And then we have um, the glossary here. So... What does a glossary do? Do you remember? If you said that it tells you the meaning of some words that are in the book, you were 100% correct. So think about that. We got to um, read about some really, you know, interesting jobs that um, people get to do around the world. And some of them we wouldn't be able to do here. Um, you know, think about it. A panda bear caretaker, I guess maybe in a zoo here, but you couldn't just hang out with pandas all day. Um, and obviously, you know, the International Space Station would look very different than working anywhere on Earth. So think about that. Just think about some of these really cool jobs. And um, if you want to, you can definitely read the book that I assigned you. Um, it has a ton of different jobs uh, that are just crazy that you might not think of. Um, and I know that some of them I had never heard of. So just think about that. Um, for your discussion question today, it's this question right here. So which job in this book would you like to try? So let me quickly go through them just to review um, what they are. So we have the bike fishermen, tree leaf, sorry, tea leaf pickers, double wallas, Amazon Rainforest Guides, International Ice Patrol, such an official name, Train Pushers, <laughs> Panda Caretakers, or Out of This World, an astronaut. So go ahead and think about which of these jobs you would like to try. Um, 
you know, and think about maybe certain talents that you have that might make you really good at it. Um, you know, think about just different skills that you have that might make you an awesome astronaut or train pusher or panda caretaker. <laughs> um, so I am really looking forward to hearing your responses and hearing what you have to say, which job you would like to try and why. Why would you like to try that book? Or not that book, that job, sorry. Um, so I'm looking forward to hearing about that. And tomorrow we are going to read more about the Department of Labor and about some of the really important laws and rules that they have helped create. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Till tomorrow, third grade. Bye.